Today we want to show you a tour of our vans. Both of us have Airstream interstates. But we use the spaces quite differently. And some things exactly the same. So come along while we show you into our living spaces on the road. Welcome to Soar America. Two couples, two dogs, and two Class B RVs on a cross-country road trip. Eric, our pilot, has challenged himself to fly all the way across the country in his sailplane in a series of connected flights. His wife, Julie, Tim and I work as his crew. Join us as we soar, drive, and camp across America. Well, this is where I spend a lot of my time. When we get set up somewhere, we go ahead and turn our seats around. They're kind of like our recliners. I bought these step stools because I'm not tall enough to reach this overhead bin in one of the backs. So that's actually what I bought them for. But it turns out that I actually use them as a footrest. And then Eric decided that he liked them. And so I've got a second one. So we both will sit here and eat or whatever. And we have um, our nice little footrest. So it kind of feels like a recliner. <laughs> so this is where I spend a lot of time. I have a lot of my um, chargers and my tablet and everything just kind of works. One of my favorite things is this fan. I think Diane has the same fan because she sent me the link from Amazon to get it. Um, and it has actually been really handy here lately during the day. This front area does not get the air conditioning. And with these windows, even with the covers, it gets pretty warm. So that's been nice. And then at night, trying to drown out some noise. So that's one of my favorite um, things. All right, so welcome to our van. It is almost exactly the same as Eric and Julie's, which was so fun because as we were putting the van together, figuring out what we needed to take, we could share tips because we had pretty much the same space, but we do use it a little differently. Um, we have dogs, so that um, is a little bit of a constraint. It means we have a few more things to have to manage. Um, so we do use our space a little differently. Um, as you can see, I have my chair turned around and I use the desk like Julie does too um, to edit videos and such. Um, we typically don't turn the other chair around and this is the only one that we usually have swiveling. Um, but yeah, I found this to be a really good space to work too. Uh, for our shoes, we have a bin down here that moves around. Um, we have trail shoes and road shoes for running and um, so we found that that's a really good thing to use. It, that bin fits perfectly between the two seats in the front and so we'll move it there at night so that the dog's crate can be through here um, and then otherwise it stays under here. We have a lot of little bags that we use like this is all of my running gear. And these bags are just really easy to throw around and toss wherever you need them. Um, so a lot of things end up there. We always keep some little, uh, usually about two or three towels like this that we can use to dry off wet and muddy paws when they come in from outside. Um, we also use it, since we put their crate here, we put this over where the table sits so that they don't have that hard right underneath their crate because they have a soft crate. Um, so this is kind of a cabinet where we just keep things that we get to pretty often like wipes, flashlight, um, the Windex, which Eric uses quite a bit <laughs> cleaning the windows and you know dishwasher detergent and things like that. So that's just our, our quick access. So the dog's things we keep in this cabinet. So we have a bag that we can pull down and we keep a bag of their food. The big bag of food we keep in the very back of the van and then just refill into this one. Um, so that's easy to grab. Um, we also added a hook here just inside the front door where we can hang their leashes. And it works really well to hang them by this part. At first we hung them by the loop on the other end and then these two metal pieces 
clank together while we were traveling. So this keeps them a little more steady. Um, but I'm going to do a video in the future on more on how we travel with dogs. Um, being in a class B, it is a small space and we have two dogs. So um, look for that video to come soon. So we have this area is sort of a pantry, but then on the top shelf, I've got all the cleaning supplies because honestly, there just weren't a lot of shelves tall enough to fit some of the bigger bottles. And it's something that I don't get that out that often. So um, that's just kind of out of the way. We keep our, our cleaning supplies as well as electronics up here. So um, manuals for the, the van, the vacuum cleaner, um, all that is in here. And then more on the other side are the electronics. We keep our electronics up overhead. We just have a, a bin that all our chargers and such go into. It just seemed natural since there's a lot of things already up there. Blu-ray player and some other gadgets and gizmos that we um, probably don't even use. But we have the camera up there and um, some of the entertainment center um, boxes are up there. Um, another thing that we got are pots and pans from Pampered Chef. And what I like about them is that the handles come off. So it makes them a lot easier to store. So you just put the handle on to use it. And then when you want to store it, the handle stores away separately. I also got a Pampered Chef griddle. And it fits perfectly down in this drawer, just sitting right on the edge. And then it also fits just right on the stove. Can make some really great pancakes. Um, I go back and forth with the toaster oven, putting it up and bringing it out, but I really like having it um, when we use it. I'll use it a couple of, couple of meals, but it's pretty easy to fit back. We store the toaster oven in the cabinet back up there. That's actually the only place that it would fit. <laughs> Um, because of this handle. If it weren't for this handle, it would fit really nicely in one of these cabinets, but it has to go there, and that's worked out just fine. Um, over, the, over the seats here, we keep our coats. That just worked out to be a nice place to keep them. That way a raincoat is really easy to grab. We've also had times of things flying out of these cabinets when we're driving, and coats are soft. So if they fall out, they won't hurt. And they're also kind of bulky, so they tend to stick in and stay. So we have found that to be a good place to keep our coats. Um, we also, if we're traveling in the winter, we'll use these hooks on either side to keep a coat on. And then that way it's easy to grab when we go out. But we are in the warm weather right now, so we can store our coats and not have to have them out so easy to grab. We leave our bed made up every day because um, Eric stands here and uses his laptop and this is kind of his mobile office and I'm up front and that works for us um, so we aren't needing the couch or the seats. Occasionally we may put up a seat or two if we want to sit down or have company over or whatever um, but it takes me a really long time to change sheets <laughs> and it's, it's a lot of work. I did it today and it just took a long time. I can imagine doing that every day so um, but it just, it makes it easier and especially on a flying day when we're traveling, we can just get into bed. We don't have to make our bed. It's, it's there and ready. And we're able to actually stack things on it and kind of use a little bit of storage, so that helps. Alright, one thing that we do very different from Eric and Julie is we do actually make and unmake our bed every day. Um, we like to sit back here with the dogs. This is where we eat our meals. Um, and this is how we travel with the dogs. Their crate sits on this couch and hooks over the headrest. So it gives them a better space to be able to travel also. So every morning we pack up all of the linens and put them up here. So we have our pillows and a quilt. Um, I don't use like a fitted sheet. so. It's a little easier to make the bed. Um, to make it, we pull the headrest off and the side cushions and put those in the back. And then we have a button to push that lowers the bed down.
And then we just pull these side pieces down to make the rest of the bed. But then I'll just put a quilt down first, and that's what we sleep on. And then add in a sheet or another quilt if we need it. And these bench seats here come together, so it makes a nice big bed just like Eric and Julie have. And then every morning we just put it back in that cabinet. Our laundry is overdue for being done. We keep it in a bag, <laughs> it's not usually this full. And then at night we just move it up front, so that's how we keep our laundry. Um, for laundry, we have a door here that opens up. And then I have a laundry basket that I have put through the back into this. And so we can just stuff our dirty laundry in and close the door. And then when I'm ready to do laundry, I just pull the basket out from the back. So when we do laundry, um, we've done it twice now. And what's been working out is we got a shower tension rod. And I thought maybe it would fit in the bathroom, but we're just not sure that that's real the best plan. But it fits really nicely between the two bars hanging down there. So we have it bungeed in. And then I have some hangers that I keep down here. So we have these hangers and just some clothespins that I'll be able to hang things from. Um, and they swivel so they can move around a little bit. And just hanging those up has worked really well. Um, they dry pretty quickly. Again, this dry air we've had in the West has been fantastic. It doesn't take things longer, uh, very long to dry it off couple of spots you know that some other hooks up front we may hang something the rear view mirror may hang something that's the express dry up there so something you dry quickly goes on the rear view mirror and it's done in a jiffy so that's what we have done for laundry um, for hanging up laundry I bought these hooks and you can use them two ways you can either hang on this and clip your clothes or you can clip them somewhere and hang your clothes here. So it kind of gives you two different options and they work on the little knobs on the cabinets and on this bar back here. So they're really handy for lots of different things. Um, we have used the shower very little. If we have access to a campground or an RV park that has a shower, we are all for it. So that's one less thing to clean and plenty of room and unlimited water. <laughs> All right, so we do use our wet bath a lot. We typically, even if there's a bathroom at the campground, we'll, we will take our showers in our wet bath. And so one of the things we bought that was suggested were quick dry towels. And this is really nice. It's a nice big size and has a hook on it so that when you are ready to let it dry, you can just hang it and it'll dry there does dry really fast. Um, they just aren't as nice as your regular bath towels. Regular bath towels are just luxurious and they, they dry you off a lot better. But these work and it is nice that in just a few minutes the towel will dry and you can put it away. So we have bath towels and hand towels that are quick that are the quick dry. I have found a lot of good information from people on YouTube who travel. And one of the things that someone talked about was getting magnetic toothbrush holders. They tended to travel where they stayed in hotels. And so they could just stick their toothbrush up on the mirror. And that worked really well. What I found were some that were suction cups. So we can hang them up in our bathroom and we're able to keep our toothbrushes clean and up out of the way, but be able to store them in the bathroom. We also bought a little shelf that we have in the back there. So we can hold our toiletries and a, a lot of different things in there. So that was just a good way to store things. I do keep a roll of toilet paper back there on that shelf in a baggie. So that way when we're taking a shower, we don't have to take it out. It won't get wet. But you won't get stuck in the bathroom without toilet paper if the roll runs out. 
<laughs> this is probably one of my favorite purchases. It is a simple battery power clock, but it has become invaluable. What I love about it is it shows the temperature and the humidity, which has been really interesting on this trip um, to watch the, of course, it's the humidity inside. Um, it's been running, um, I think the lowest I've seen is like 15 to 20 percent. We've been around 30 here. In the middle of the night, we got a little bit of rain. It bumped up to 45, and that was the highest humidity I'd seen. I was a little disappointed, but <laughs> I'm, I'm okay with the dry air. But um, what I also like about this clock is that it has a nightlight and it's either low or high. And so putting it on the low in the, in the, in the dark is just enough of a glow that I can read the clock and it gives me a little bit of light. So love this clock. My favorite appliance, one that I'm really thankful Tim found, is this USB charged blender. So it charges up in a USB port and then it has different attachments. This is the one I use most of the time, which is for making shakes. And it comes with a little cup, or you can use your own shaker cup, and you just put all your ingredients in there, and then you blend it up with this. So really nice. Um, anything that can be USB charged where you don't have to have power is always a plus. One thing that we've added that has been really helpful is this um, net right here. Um, originally, I just wanted it for a tablet holder, and you can see that it has become a holder for a lot of things, magazines and planners and everything. And so that has worked out really well. The only bad thing about it is this can be a seat, and if someone is sitting here to travel, their head can be a little restricted by that. But um, for just our day-to-day -day living, when we don't have anybody extra in the van. That's really nice. Well, so that's how we roll. <laughs> that's what we do in our van. We're st still learning things, finding new things all the time. Um, trial and error, but um, so far it seems to be working well. All right, so there you have it. That's how we travel in our van. The dog's things we keep in the first cabinet. Of course, I'm not my head. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. I didn't have your head in the, in the picture. Uh, you know, I'm back up soon that's, enough. That's reality, isn't it? I that's guess. true. So I have some hangers that I keep down here that um, have. <laughs> <laughs> I can only uh, <laughs> yeah, and then I'll let you turn around and I'll come back and video it. <laughs> I tried so hard. Yeah. <laughs> So today we wanted to show you my hair in my face. <laughs> today we wanted to show you how we live in our vans. We both have Airstream Interstate vans, but we live very differently. Yes, we do. <laughs> this will be a great blooper reel. <laughs>